guys, welcome in. Um, sorry, I'm just catching up on Ali Matt's latest video. Uh, Ali, I'm gonna have to quiet you for a second. So, welcome in, guys. Um, as I, said, I was just catching up on Ali Max's uh, video, it's um, a Monday here, so I'm getting ready for my live as well, and just catching up on a few videos and setting up for the live uh, broadcast later on tonight. Um, so, what's today's video on? Um, well, as a lot of you know, there's a bit of a running joke between myself and Raphael regarding the heat gun and my amount of use of the heat gun when I'm depopulating boards and mobile phone boards and all that sort of stuff. Um, but, you know, it's a bit of a running joke and a bit of fun. But I'll let you on a little secret. Don't tell Raphael. I don't want you letting Raphael know this, okay? Don't let Raphael know. But I don't actually use the heat gun all the time. I sometimes use this for doing the boards. So that's what this video is going to be on, guys. I'm going to use this. It's a multi-tool. As you can see, the blade is absolutely ruined now because um, I've been using so much and I need to change the blade. But for the video, I'm going to just give you a demonstration. It may not work perfect. It may not take everything off the board because the blade needs to be changed because I've been using it a bit, Raphael. Don't tell Raphael, sorry, don't tell Raphael uh, that I don't use the heat gun. If Raphael asks, I use the heat gun to depopulate my board. But for everyone else, I also use this. Um, the heat gun I like for doing certain things on the boards and the... Um, the multi-tool I use for everything else. So, um, that's my talk. Why don't you watch the video of me using that multi-tool and I'll get back to watching Ali Mac and seeing can he solve this. He has a uh, immobilizer fault on his his um, um, Skoda. So, Mark 1. So, I'm going to get back to watching uh, Ali Max video uh, preparing for my live that's right guys if you don't I do a live on a Monday night so pop in say hi and up to all the new subscribers thanks for subscribing and um, shall be back at the end of the video and we'll catch up and we'll see see how we got on okay carry on Ali yeah, at the moment we've got an immobilizer okay guys so here I am in the shed and it's time to clear up some of these boards so um, for this video as I already talked about I'm going to be using a multi-tool so multi-tool you can change the blades on it different type of blades whatever you want to um, it's usually used for cutting all different can be used for cutting timber for pipes any sort of stuff but today I'm going to use it to clean up my boards so there will be a lot of noise from it and um, put your gloves on put a mask on if you um, in an enclosed area so that you're not getting any of the dust uh, from here inhaling that into your lungs Put some goggles on so that if anything flies from the thing. So what I've done here is I've got a little plastic container with one end open. And that way then when I'm cutting along here with the multi-tool, these little bits as you can see will fall off and hopefully most of them will stay in there. And then I can tip it all into a little bucket or something at the end of it. So there will be noise. So you enjoy some music while I go and get to work on these. So I've got a few boards to do. So more than likely I'll fast forward with a bit of music and you can see how we get on.
so uh, there we are guys uh, just a quick demonstration um, as you can see it does remove most of the stuff for me now the odd place where we um, sometimes there'll be screws still left or big nuts like that then I won't be able to get them off with it um, because I, it'll just wear down the blade too quick um, but it just kind of shows you where it can be so you can see like from some of the boards here it's just completely removed everything off the board um, you know there's, there's only that little bit of wire there but that's only that's a little bit of wire but everything else has been completely removed off that board um, and then we have all the little bits down here so again you have your little so you can get your access to your your little copper spools and stuff like that um, you'd have your um, IC chips so again it's just completely remove the IC chips um, so there's more copper more IC chips uh, even took off the uh, socket down here so again just cut straight through the socket and um, so there can be these videos on how I process that even these things here which I don't really find anything good in them but when I'm doing it that's the way I'll remove it I usually have a timber box but I couldn't uh, locate it today where I could put it so I'll just use this plastic tub so um, as you can see there it's fairly fairly does the job so uh, again all your little bits and pieces so it's just a matter of going through these little bits and pieces and seeing what you want out of them whether you want these little bit of copper reels or copper spools uh, which have the copper wire you can beat that with a hammer just to break it open even more and get you into your copper uh, some more copper here and uh, more of it here so we have um, easy access to these little copper wires that's in inside of it and then you'll also have all your your gold bearing materials um, so we have our little sockets from the ethernet cables or the telecom cables connectors so again easier to get into the access to them so it's just a matter of breaking them open then and getting your wires out um, so that's kind of it guys for the video um, I might just um, finish up uh, inside again and we'll just go through finish up on the last bit and uh, see you in there guys Oh, you're back again guys. So you've watched the video. Hold on, I'll just lower down Mr. Ian Matthews. Uh, or should I say Mr. 10K Ian Matthews, who is now at 10K 104, I think, or something like that. I'm not sure. Um, but he's getting up there. Well done, Ian. Um, so I've uh, watched Ali and I'm sticking on to Ian there now. Uh, so, yeah, so you've seen the video. You've seen me use that. You've seen that I struggled with some of them, getting them off, because, as you can see, it has no teeth left on it. It's wore that much. I've wore the teeth completely out of it. So it's time to change that blade and get some new blades for it. I have a lot of boards to do, so I'll you get some new board, new ones for it. New teeth. So yeah, I don't always use the heat gun, um, even though I pretend I do to some of you, because it's fun. But... Um, that's it really guys for the video um so i want to say thanks to everyone for watching um thanks to all the new subscribers thanks for everyone who comments um i really do appreciate all the support that you do give and thanks to everyone that comes into the monday night live shows and if you want to come into the monday night live show feel free a lot of scrappers come in so if you have any questions about scrap e-waste any of that sort of stuff or if you just want to come in for the chat come on in for the chat we're always welcome in there it's always a good group on panel and there's always a good group in the chat themselves and uh, we do appreciate the people that give up their times to come into us so guys that's it for this video um stay safe and i'll see you on the next one and i might see you on the monday night live if you're in so thanks for watching it's time to get back to ian matthews because um ian is has ran out of storage so much that he's actually using his car now as storage instead of the shed. Ian, you have a serious problem, my friend. A serious problem. You have to let go of stuff. Anyhow, catch you on the next one, guys. Look after yourselves. Bye. It's a big one. Right. Uh...